Greetings. This is Honolulu Blue from HB Cruising with a follow-up to my video from last week about 23 things that I liked about my last cruise. If you haven't watched that video, you should watch it before you go too far into this one. I'll wait for you. For the rest of you, I want to discuss 6 of the not so good things from my last cruise on the Dream last month. First was the shuttle from the Houston airport to the terminal. The shuttle worked fine when it worked, but there was nearly a 3 hour wait between the time I got to the shuttle pickup point and the time we left the airport. This is, in my opinion, unacceptable, and a key reason why I don't like to sail out of Galveston. Second, I was reminded of why I don't like 7am port calls. I like to think I am an early riser, but this was early even for me. I had to rush through things more than I liked. I take responsibility for this, since I knew it was an early call when I booked this. But still, I will try to avoid them on future cruises. Third, it took me a while to figure out how to access Facebook with the premium internet package. I noticed that Facebook didn't work when I tried to access it on my devices using their built-in browsers onboard, but it worked fine when I used the internet in port. How I got around this was downloading the Facebook app and using that. It worked well on board after that. I should not have had to do this and blame Carnival for this oversight, but I didn't spend that much time with Mark's favorite toy and the solution was easy, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Fourth was the disembarkation process. Carnival tends to have far more people who self-disembark than any other cruise line I have been on. This causes problems because some of the people who have more luggage than they can handle take advantage of this and slow everyone down. Getting off the ship was slower and less efficient than it needed to be. Fifth, the weather caused us problems at times. It wasn't about a lack of sun. Most of this journey was sunny with only a few brief showers, except the one situation I'll get to shortly. But we had high winds for much of this cruise, which caused two issues. First was some difficulty getting around in port. But the bigger issue was when the wind was against where we needed to sail. This caused the ship to bounce around some, and with me at the front of the ship, I often took the worst of it. I never got seasick, so there is that. And finally, on the last day as we were heading back to Galveston, we ran into a freak storm that tossed the ship around so badly that the captain made the decision to send everyone back to their cabins, including the crew. We had to wait it out for about two and a half hours until we were released. There was some minor damage caused by the storm, which was some of the reason why it took us so long to emerge. Also, High status cruisers did get a small amount of onboard credit as reimbursement for missing a party I didn't plan to attend anyway. In conclusion, overall this was a wonderful cruise that I had on the dream, but I did want to make sure that I noted the things that did not go so well. Many of them will pop up on your travels as well, so you just have to make the most of them. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel. It helps you and it helps us.